Kay Samuels can see the dilapidated 6th Street swimming pool from her porch. It's dangerous because there's a lot of kids around here, uh, you know, and I see the kids climbing over the uh, fence and everything. She's not only concerned about the children in the area, but also the insects she believes the stagnant water attracts. The mosquitoes, they're just really bad. I hardly ever even sit on the porch. If they're not going to open it, they just need to, uh, you know, get the water out of it and uh, just do whatever they need to do to it, like cover it up. The city of Gadsden spokesperson explains it was recommended water stay in the pool to protect the infrastructure while waiting on repairs. It's been mostly closed since 2019 due to issues with drains, pump systems and leaks. Last year, a deep dive inspection into the pool's issues was conducted. Got that report back and uh, it's pretty costly uh, in those in that time we were looking at a couple of options of about 500,000 to 750,000 to fix the existing pool. After the estimates came in, the city hit pause on future projects. Williamson believes the cost to get the pool up to code now would range from 750,000 to a million dollars. I don't recommend that the city spend that kind of money on that pool. If we're going to spend that kind of money, I think we can start all over and do it better to today's standards. If a new pool was built, Councilor Larry Avery hoped it remained in District 3 where the 6th Street pool is now. Very precious for the community because we swam in this pool literally from sun up to sun down. Now, ultimately, any decision about this facility would have to be made by the mayor's office and city council. Councilor Avery tells me they are preparing for budget discussions for the next fiscal year. For now, reporting live in Gadsden, Aaron Wise, ABC 3340 News.